very very close to being done the carriage is going to be coming down off the jack stands in a moment i'm just going to set the camera up so you guys can get the first listen of the cobra manifold i'm very very excited for this and i want to know what it sounds like right now Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we've got another mod being installed. I'm just gonna show you guys before we head off to go get it done. Um, so we're just gonna go over to the car now, but the GT86 will be getting some more noise, which is very, very exciting. So let's have a look to see what it is. So there we have it, it's a Cobra Sport unequal length manifold that's going to replace the stock one which is quite restrictive. This is a D-cat one but the GT86 comes with two cats so that particularly doesn't matter. So we're just going to hop into the car and I'm going to speak about a little bit more around why I picked this particular manifold over the other ones available in the market. Okay so why did I choose the Cobra unequal length D-cat manifold to put onto this car? So when it comes to exhaust modifications, I was doing a little bit of reading up on what's, what is the best thing to do, when to do it, how to do it, what to use and, and that sort of thing. Um, the first thing that came up was the manifold. Now I'll show you guys the manifold once it's been taken out, but it looks like quite a restrictive sort of device that's in the car. The Cobra manifold is a four to one. Um, it's decat, so it's all the way through and it's an increase of 0.5 of an inch. So rather than it be 1.75, it's actually 2.25, which is actually quite good. So we might be fitting the Mishimoto sound delete kit because I just want to hear the car for how it is. Now, for the you guys that have got Golf R's that are still subscribed to my channel or anything in the VAG group or anything with a fake sound device, this has one too. So when I refit the new induction kit that's coming at the back end of this month, um, you'll see that there's a pipe to the left hand side that goes straight into the cabin here. Now, there's a bung that comes with the Mishimoto motor kit and you bung it into the the sort of I think it's under the footwell here um, and it stops the sound coming through now when I get the Cobra fitted I'm going to want that to sound as good as possible so I'm going to bang that in and then listen to the car to how it sounds okay so when it comes to headers for these vehicles on manifolds if you're from the UK you've got two options first option is an equal length header and it does pretty much what it says on the tin both sets of pipes are equal length you don't get any difference in sound apart from it being a little bit louder and it normally goes from four to two to one with the unequal length headers you have a couple of options you've got one that goes four to two to one and you've got some that go four to one now the ones that go four to one are described as giving more of a subaru sound and what do i mean by subaru sound so if you look at any wrx or sti you know that they've got that typical, you know you, you know it's a Subaru. You know when it drives past, you know it's a Subaru. They, have, they all sound the same unless they put equal length headers on. And because this is a Subaru engine, when we put unequal length headers on it, it will sound like Subaru. Now that's quite exciting because I've always wanted a Subaru, but I've just never been able to insure one. And the weird thing is it's gonna be a Toyota that sounds like a Subaru, although I do know the Subaru has the BRZ, which is essentially the same car. When I've been doing research on which one to buy, the sort of general consensus is that the unequal length header will give you more mid-range and more torque, which this car desperately needs, and the unequal length header will give you more power top end. Now what I'm thinking is, once I've got the, all the other bits fitted, I'm going to go get a remap. So that sort of torque dip in the middle is going to be taken out, and with the addition of the unequal length header, it should just make it a little bit better in that respect. So I'm actually just on the way to go get the headers fitted. Um, they're being fitted by a guy called Craig, who's a friend of a friend. So big thank you to Craig. And I'm quite excited actually, because he's got a Nissan Silvia, which is pretty much built from the ground up. Um, I mean, the guy's done engine rebuilds. He's rebuilding his gearbox at the moment because he completely destroyed it. And he's running about 400 brake horsepower. And you don't see many Silvias around these ways. So it's fair to say that I know his onions about JDM cars and I'm very, very excited to get this fitted. So I'll catch up with you guys once we're over to Craig's place. I don't know how much of this I'm realistically going to be filming because I don't want to intrude on his personal space, but you'll see what goes on when we get there. And as always, if you enjoy this type of content, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel and keep up to date with what I'm doing. 
but let's go get these headers fitted. Okay, so as you guys can see, the car is behind me, the front is lifted up, um, the manifold, the bolts all came out absolutely fine. I'm just conscious of filming too much here because I appreciate it is his house and I don't want to give away his privacy or anything like that. But the only issue we've got now is the overpipe is in the way of the manifold actually coming out. Um, so I think what we're going to do is drop the rest of the exhaust down a little bit just so we can get the manifold out. But other than that, it looks like a fairly simple install. The underpan that's actually holding everything together underneath. There's a lot of pins and plugs in there, so that's the only time-taking thing. But I'll come back to you guys when we've got a bit more of an idea of how long it's going to take and what it's going to be looking like. It's all looking good so far. So this is actually Craig's personal car. It's a Sylvia S14. It is a drift car, as you can see from there. It says T-Slide, so he's up at T-Side quite a bit once the car is back and on the road. But if you do see him, say hello to him. Um, it's actually a very, very nice looking car. It's got some Michelin Pilot Sport 4s on the front with some nine inch width of wheels I believe but these aren't the drift wheels it does get some uh, other wheels as well but it's got some little little battle scars as well but in general the car looks quite good I quite like the uh the message there, if you can't see it, it says no screaming, no touching buttons and hold on that's the rules for the passengers but it's fully caged up a very very nice car Okay, so this is the stock manifold for the GT86. There are two sensors, one just here and one just on the side there. One thing that I must note is that it's a lot heavier than the one that's going in the car. And I think that's simply because it's got all of the heat shield on there. We're actually going to be using the stock gaskets and that's simply because we know these are quality. I'm not sure what the ones are like that have come from Cobra, but we're gonna use them. If there is a problem, we can swap them over. Obviously, we've still got them, but it's time to put the new manifold on. Okay. So so the manifold has been fitted, it's been pretty smooth sailing, there were just a couple of bolts that needed to be taken out of the stock manifold to put into the new one which is absolutely fine, it's gone on perfectly, it fits brilliantly, a big thank you to Cobra Sport for making such good products, you always do, I've had a couple of your bits before, um, I'm looking forward to hearing it to be fair, so when everything is back on, the under tray is going on now, I'll get a shot of the car starting up for the first time with the Cobra unequal length manifold. Very, very close to being done. The car is just going to be coming down off the jack stands in a moment. I'm just going to set the camera up so you guys can get the first listen of the Cobra manifold. I'm very, very excited for this and I want to know what it sounds like right now. Um, so I'm just going to put the camera down and then we'll come back to you once I'm back in the car. Okay, so I'm back in the garage, I'm back home, I've had something to eat, I feel a little bit refreshed. Big thanks to Craig for being able to fit that. Everything went very, very smoothly, as I mentioned earlier. Manifold bolts came out. We only had to change some bolts from the original one over. That is just outside now. Um, just, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably either going to sell it or trade it into the scrappers or something like that. A little bit early in the video, I was talking about installing the Mishimoto Sound Elite kit. I've had a bit of a change of heart, but I'm just going to show you what it consists of anyway and tell you what I'm going to do in the meantime just to sort out that sort of fake engine noise. So we've got a couple of things to speak about. So this is a Mishimoto sound deleter kit let's see if the camera wants to focus there we go so essentially what you've got is a little rubber thing there that goes on the side of the intake and i'll show you guys once i install the mishimoto kit when it gets here finally and inside of that you've got a little bung now this metal bung goes inside of the driver's cabin underneath the carpet right at the back and there's a little hole where the sound comes through you put this in and it stops it so with us not installing the mishimoto sound delete kit i have to come up with a bit of a stop gap now this next thing is something that i picked up off one of the forums and it's actually quite handy 
So in the GTH6, the BRZ and the FRS, you have two 12 volt sockets, one in the glove box, one in the center compartment. The one in the glove box has a cap on it, which is in my hand here. Now this cap fits perfectly into the hole in the driver's side and it will bung it up for the meantime. I only want to install the mission motor stuff and I've got the induction kit on there as well, but I'm just gonna go put this in and we'll see what it does. So welcome everybody to a Toyota GTH6 footwell. It's not the most exciting of places, but I just want to show you what I'm gonna be doing with this 12 volt cover over here now if you just pull the carpet back a little bit you can see the hole there and that's where we're going to plug this in so just bear with me whilst I do it and then we're going to go out for a drive see what it's like see if you can hear the unequal length header anymore and I think that's the video wrapped up Okay, so we've put the makeshift sound deleter bung in. There's definitely a difference in here. I mean, if you've got a GTH6 or any of them cars, you'll understand what I mean by when I say, when you're driving along, when you're going up further through the RPMs, you don't get that sort of raspy noise in the cabin. You just hear the engine. Um, I mean, in terms of the actual Cobra manifold, it probably doesn't sound as Subaru-y as what I expected. Although that just might be the way that the camera's picking it up. But when we were stood uh, by the back of the car just while we warmed it up when I just finished at Craig's, you could definitely hear the bu -bu 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 -bu, like the whirble of a, of a sort of Subaru engine. Um, it may be because I've got a completely stock exhaust back from that. Um, and when we take out a silencer, it might just free it up a little bit more and you may be able to hear a little bit more of that sound. But all in all, the car does feel a little bit more responsive when on throttle and I know the unequal length manifolds are supposed to increase the, the sort of torque a little bit, so that would make sense. Um, but in terms of the sound deleter kit, the, the makeshift sound deleter kit rather, it's done the job, it really has. And if you've seen from that video there, it fit like a glove. I had to try it twice because I thought it was too easy to get in. But fits in there nice and tight and uh, it works quite well, so I'm quite happy with that. Now, there are some more stuff to go in the car. If you've been having a look at the video a bit earlier, when I was showing you the Missing Moto Sound Deleter Kit, you'd have seen some springs underneath that. Now, there are tying springs. I did get them with all of this. I just haven't fitted them yet. And the reason behind that is, I originally thought that 15 mil would be enough, but when I put the wheels on, it actually turns out I've got more arch gap than what I had before. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if Demon Tweaks will exchange them for the 25 mil ones. Now they're exactly the same price, so there shouldn't be an issue in that respect. But I just want to get rid of the arch gap and give it a nice ride. Um, so that will be coming up shortly. I'll probably get them fitted by Craig as well. Very, very good guy. Thank you again. And I really like Sylvia, by the way. But yeah, all in all, I'm very happy with the install of the manifold. It went a lot simpler than what we first expected. No issues with the manifold bolts, no issues with anything getting off or putting on or anything. But it sounds quite nice. As you can see from the beginning, when I showed you what it sounded like on the first start up, it's got a little loud revert, sort of cold start, and it's a little louder in general when you're putting the foot down and when you're going for it. Don't worry though, because there will be more videos where you can hear a better sound of it when it's flying by and stuff like that. Plus, I'll also be at tracks in October, so if you are going down there, please be sure to pop along and say hello. I'm not sure what stand I'm gonna be on yet, but I will update you as and when I know. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, subscribe to the channel, and keep up to date with what I'm doing. And until next time, I'll see you then.